Hey everyone, this is Ebony and welcome to M Fashion. So with the recent murders of Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, there has been an uprising about finding out where to shop that is black owned. Because of this, this video could not come at a better time because I am featuring another black owned business today. The brand that I'm featuring today is Alberta Venice, which is a black woman owned brand. The founder is Shanice and Alberta Venice actually reached out to me on Instagram to see if I could show you guys a couple of their pieces, tell you what the company is about, and hopefully you like what you see. Now before I get started with the information, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the bell button if you want to know as soon as my videos drop. Okay, first things first, the brand's mission is to bring versatile fashion forward pieces specifically for plus size women. They are an up and coming brand so they have a smaller rollout, um, they have 5 pieces in total. They currently have their shop set up on Facebook, which I will link below in the description box. And based off their size chart, um, they can provide anywhere between a size 12 to 28, but currently their pieces are going from a size 18 to 24. Now this isn't my first interaction with Alberta Venice. I actually won a giveaway of theirs uh, around a month ago or close to that where I won the orange blossom dress and so I already have a piece of theirs and I was lucky enough to get three more pieces from them to show you today. So I'm going to do this a little differently than usual. You're going to see me bring up the pieces on camera but you're also going to see me model them as well. So instead of just going straight into the modeling with a voiceover, I'm going to be showing you right then and there with me not wearing it as well as with me modeling it. So the first thing we have is the French vanilla coffee dress. This is what it looks like up close. Very cute cream color. It is 100% polyester crepe. It is lined which is great and it also has shoulder pads and puff sleeves. And another cool feature is it has elastic cuffs, so very comfortable on the arm. It also has an invisible zipper, so that's nice. You don't want to see a big zipper in the back of the dress. Everything is designed pretty well. I would say this is pretty high quality material, as well as for the tags and everything, especially for a startup. It's not a thick dress, but the cool thing is the lining actually keeps from your underwear showing through so that is awesome and the high slit is so cute and it's so hard to find things that come with a slit and the slit is like shown it's not like an invisible slit like I if I want a slit I want to see it so the slit is very nice this also comes with its own belt I've decided to use my own belt just to you know pizzazz it up a little bit but it does come with its own belt. All of my pieces are in a size 24, so you won't have to guesstimate on that. The neckline is plunging, so you definitely want a plunge bra so it doesn't come through in the dress. Um, but it's a really sexy look, which is nice. The only baby con is that the top of the arms are just a touch snug. Just a touch. But it's not something that, you know, would cut off my circulation. I can still wear the dress. Now this dress is going for $99.95. And I definitely would say touching it, wearing it, feeling it, that it definitely would go about that price. It's really good quality. Actually, better quality than a lot of, like, bigger brands. Um, because I'm assuming with bigger brands, you know, they mass produce. So they try to keep the cost low. But... Alberta Venice decided to go the extra mile and put in some work into these pieces. Next, I have the Viola dress. It is a maxi dress and it's cute red and white stripes. Same high quality tags going on. And this dress, I believe, is 90% polyester and 10% spandex. So I've decided to style this as a duster. 
It looks really cute. It's very versatile, obviously. You can wear it as a maxi dress. You can wear it as a duster. And I've also tried it on as just a regular button shirt. And it still works, even though it's long. The ruffle cuffs are a cute touch. And this also comes with its own sash. There's buttons going all the way up on the dress. So you can decide to button it all the way down. Or you can open it up a little bit if you want a front slit. The spandex in this piece is really doing its job because it does feel like it has good stretch. The arms feel really good in this. Um, I could tell that there was some detail to make sure that there was room for the arms there, which doesn't happen a lot. Um, when I shop around and I'm starting to shop at newer brands and stuff, and even more established brands, a lot of times the arms can be so tight. like. It can look good everywhere else and then the arms are losing circulation. You can't wear it at all. But I'm glad Alberto Venice put in the extra work to make sure that everything fits where it needed to fit and be comfortable. Next thing I have is the orange blossom dress. It's super vibrant and it's off the shoulder, which I love. This dress continues to feature the high quality tags it also has an invisible zipper just like the coffee dress and it's also lined so you don't have to worry about seeing a whole bunch of panty lines and things like that and seeing through the dress they have put in the work to make sure this is durable i also love the dramatic flare sleeves that's really cute and brings a lot of flair to the dress now this is a bodycon dress and it is a maxi dress on me so if you're someone who's not super comfortable with that i completely understand but with that being said this dress is very comfortable you don't feel like you're about to bust out the dress just because it's fitting and i love the elastic on the off the shoulders or the shoulder parts because that keeps that very comfortable as well now i styled this on instagram with my favorite belt but today i'm just showing you the dress as is because it's fabulous as is. This dress is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. You do feel that spandex again because like I said, they're stretch, so that helps with the comfort of the dress. This dress is also going for $99.95, and again, I feel like that is a good price to put it at because of the quality of this piece. Last but not least, we have the Everything is Love dress, which I am wearing right now. It is a maxi dress. It is a full button-up dress. And the fabric is 66% cotton, 29% nylon, and 5% spandex. Now, I decided to wear this as a dress. I thought about wearing it as like a duster as well, but then I was like, no, let me put it as a dress so people can kind of see truly what it's meant to be worn as. This dress also comes with its own sash. It has these beautiful bell sleeves, which are nice, and very fabulous. It's very breathable. It's definitely the lightest of all the pieces, um, but the skirt is lined. So the top is not, but the skirt is. So that helps because when it gets warmer, um, when, you don't want to be hot up here, especially as a plus size girl. Um, it's just uncomfortable, so it's good that they decide to keep the top light, but add some weight and um, some durability to the bottom. This dress also has an elastic waist, which is very important for comfort. And just like the Viola dress, you can button it all the way down, or you can button it up a little bit at the bottom to get a front slit. As an added bonus, these pockets are real. They're not for show. Just like the Viola dress and the Orange Blossom dress, that spandex really does its job because it makes the arms super comfortable. That is the biggest difference between those three pieces and the coffee dress. The coffee dress is 100% polyester crepe, so it's very structured. Whereas the Orange Blossom, the Viola dress, and the Everything is Love dress, they're all structured but they have that touch of spandex that gives comfort in the places that typically would be restricted in a more structural piece. 
This dress is going for $109.95. I believe that's a good price based off of the fashion details and based off of the quality details that they've put into this piece. So guys, what do you think? Was there anything you saw today that you thought I have to have? I'm glad I got to show you all these pieces. Shout out to Alberta Venice for reaching out and working with me. I really appreciate it. I just want to bullet point my highlights and things I would like to see in the future. So one of my main highlights is the arms. The sizing of the arms are lit. I love that I can put on the piece and my arms can comfortably fit in and I don't feel like I'm losing my circulation in my arms. I love the lining. Lining is so important. Um, a lot of people take it for granted, but when you wear pieces that aren't lined, you can see through those pieces. So if you have some lumps and bumps, cellulite, anything going on there, panty lines, you're gonna see all of that. As well as if you're wearing just a different color bra, a bright color bra, we're gonna see that. But because Alberta Venice decided, let's throw on a line, it helps cover all of that. And you can enjoy wearing the piece, whether you're wearing shapewear or not, where you're wearing your granny panties or not, where you're wearing your neon pink bra or not. The next thing I wanna highlight is the style itself. These are some really great fashion details that were made, playing around with the cuffs and the sleeves, playing around with the versatility of some of the pieces, making sure most of them come with their own belt, and playing around with different cuts. Something I would love to see moving forward is an extension on the bigger side of the sizes. I think that I definitely can wear the size 24 in these pieces, um, but for things like the Viola dress because it's cut straight, um, I definitely would have benefited with a bigger size, like just the next size up. Same thing with the Orange Blossom dress. Um, and that's really my preference. I like to size things a little looser because I feel like it gives me a little more room to be versatile with the pieces and to do more. Whereas if they fit my body perfectly, I feel like I can only wear it in one way. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. I'm really excited to be working with this brand. I'm glad that they reached out to me and I hope to continue to work with them in the future and to see what they grow into in the future. If you're a plus size woman or you know of plus size women in your vicinity and you want to gift them something that is fashionable and that is actually good quality, I would highly suggest going to Alberta Venice. As I said, in times like these, people are searching for places to buy black and this is a great place to do it. If you have any questions about the brand or the clothing, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Again, I will be linking their store in my description box. So if you're interested in buying anything, you can go straight there. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my video to people who might be interested. Follow me on my social media because I want to be friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.